Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is brought to you by Chime, an amateur catchweight fight scheduled for three rounds, three minutes apiece. This is one of our last amateur fights. Make sure to check out BetMGM to get in on the action on tonight's professional card. Introducing to you first, in the red corner, sporting an amateur mixed martial arts record of two victories and three defeats. He stands five feet nine inches tall, and he weighed in at 138 pounds. From Boston, Massachusetts, he's representing Sit Your Tongue. Let's hear it for Phil Bambino Locino. And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, holding an amateur mixed martial arts record of two victories and three defeats. He stands five feet nine inches tall, and he weighed in at 141 pounds. From New Bedford, Massachusetts, he's representing Lakeville MMA. Make some noise for Xavier X Cardona. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Marcel Varela. Ooh, I'm going to throw up. Here we go. It's going to be good right out the gate. Ready? Watch both of these two take the center and get going. Oh, Ready? Oh, baby. Late. Mortal Kombat. The gray trunks for... To the death. Let's Xavier go. Xavier Cardona, black and red for Bambino Locino. Long black shorts. Nice leg kick there. In the phone booth right out the gate. Double underhooks for uh, Xavier Cardona here. Phil doing a good job turning. Got that underhook. There you go. Good job. Xavier so trying to soften him. Oh, gets him right down, does Phil. Got to watch out for that guillotine. Cardona's got guillotine finishes. He's can't looking his, for it right now. his legs wrapped. He's across the body. Uh, 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 uh. Phil's all right. He's across the body. It might be tight, but he can't finish from here, I don't believe. It's going to be tough to finish from that angle, but we've seen crazier. He's cranking it. Just Up. Definitely uncomfortable. Phil well, seems like he's trying to break that they're grip. Not, they're not slippery quite yet either, yeah. so this could be more. He's looking than to we break think. that grip right there. And he's out. And Phil is out. Good job. Good patience there. In half guard. Good position for Phil right here. Should look to soften him up with some soft strikes, some short strikes here from the top. Xavier is doing the right thing, trying to make space and push away here. He's got to get up. Make some space. Yep. Still doing a good job collapsing on top. Got to watch out for the leg lock here, even though it's still an amateur fight. Got to watch out for the submissions here. Xavier going for going all types of stuff. Just went for an inverted triangle. phil has got to be careful putting the, putting that arm out. Right. There we looking for the pass. Doing a good job stacking. Yeah. Uh, be careful while grabbing the fence there. Good job on top, good pressure. Oh, oh. Just goes right into Mount, does Z Phil. Xavier was making him work there for a minute, but once he got the side control, Bambino seamlessly passing to Mount. One minute in the round for Bambino to be on top. That's a lifetime if you've ever been on bottom. Sure is. And coming up with the hammer fist. Xavier doing a good job breaking his posture. Phil's got to push the head away. Great job, right? And make some separation, try and break that grip. Xavier's going to hold on here for as best as he can, try to explode up. He's got to get out of there. He's got to play with the hips and try to get his back up against the fence. Yep. Start playing with his posts. He gives up his back. Oh, Uche, Uche nice. Which turns out all right. Well here capitalized we on. Was able to trap him. That was good. Watch out for the guillotine. Watch that guillotine. He's looking he's for that. He's to the side huh? here. He doesn't have it. He's on the wrong side again. Much like the... Much oh, like he the, oh, have it this time. That time he's got to hold on. 30 seconds is a lifetime. That's a long time. He's got to keep his hips up. And he's got the arm he's in, the arm and he's, he's leaning into it he nicely. It. He's leaning into it. That's the way to finish that arm in guillotine. He's, he's got a great it. angle. That's a good way. He might be out there. Yeah, good I job. pulled that out. Good attempt nice. from, from X there. Yeah, you almost rather that in half guard than full guard Absolute, there with that yeah. kind of angle. Nice Ooh. slam from the Bambino. Ten seconds left in the round. Good scrappy round from these two. Good work. Good work from both men. A lot of submission attempts from the bottom. A good top pressure from Phil. Not how I thought for round one was going to go, but it is mixed martial arts. Anything can happen it can. at any time. And Xavier did a great job in that round, reversing the position, getting out of mount. He might have taken the risk, getting his taking his back or, or exposing his back, but it ended up 
paying dividends, getting him on top, going for those submission attempts. He almost had, he went for an inverted triangle, two guillotines. Everything was kind of moving. He was doing a good job from bottom there. Phil doing a great job pot shot and, and stacking him to make sure that Xavier couldn't extend and make this space. Let's see where the second round goes now. Competitive in many facets. Yep. Good submission yep. bites from Cardona to keep Lucino Phil's gotta respecting watch that neck. him. But. Phil's got to watch that neck. You're absolutely correct. If he does, if he shoots in like that, Xavier is going right for that neck as soon as he gets it in place. So he's doing a great job. Let's see if they throw leather in this one. A lot of bad things. They touch they him up, two, right low out kick. The leg kick. and a nice counter from the leg kick Ooh, from Zach, kick. Xavier. Got to be careful with the wild stuff from Bambino. Both men have chins. Ooh, oh, nice overhand. Nice overhand. Oh, there it was again. Oh, little, head butt. A little bit. A little, little bit of a head clash. Little head there. That's just two men Smash. going too far. For, they're trying to hit each other so bad. Like, like a couple of bison walking. <laughs> like what I say, two rams just hit each other in the center. Good. Whoa. Ooh, we got to be careful getting his back taken here. Watch the reverse triangle. The triangle's there. Nice. That is a nice submission if he can lock it up. I don't think he's got an arm in there. Does I think he? it's just a head. I'm no. not sure. No, he, no, no, no. He's no, just he's got, got a head no, no, scissors. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. He doesn't have it. It's just a scissor lock. It's like also, the old WWE move. Also not comfortable, but. No, not fun no, at all. It's a, not fun it's at all. It's very uncomfortable, but no. it ain't going to finish you. Figure four. Good frames from, uh, from Phil here. Still doing a good job on top. Framing. Good pressure. Keeping patient. Yeah, it's just more short shots like that to soften them up. They don't right. got to be big, but if you want to advance, even right here in half guard, just start up and down, maybe some body shots, open it up, because all he's trying to do is break your posture here. Right, right, right. He's just trying to keep you down so you can't hit him. Xavier needs to get his bottom leg, the leg that's in between Phil's, again, against the wall, the cage, and then use it to wall walk. Again, this is yeah, something you can't that lay there in the guard here. Your guard is not going to, and, and unless you're active like he was in the first round, right? You're not going to find the success, especially with your head up against the cage yeah, like that. Phil's That's got very him. Very difficult. He was jammed up, yeah, like right now. Phil's doing the up. perfect thing, exactly what he should be doing. Xavier's got to push away, locking his his legs like this, is keeping Phil in place, right? And he's not going to. He needs to separate and make some some space so that he can stand back up. Exactly. Phil doing the right things though. Good, good short shots. He's staying taking active. his time, taking his time. See Xavier trying to hit from the bottom here, but he doesn't have a. There's, there's no power. There's no power. No it's power. just rabbit punches. And from the bottom, unless you're threatening something else, that's really going to be hard to, to make your. Oh, he's he no, might be going no, for an armbar here. Be... Oh, that was a good setup though. Good job from Phil. Savvy Gotta to watch all out the, the submission attempts. This fight. Oh, we might have that toe hold there. That's not a bad bite on a toe hold. Yeah, you, you might holds? have this. Are toe holds that's a, that's a straight up. No, they're legal. I believe this is legal. Yeah, toe holds okay. are fine. Okay. He's got the wrong grip. Yeah, he's not gripping it the right way. It's a valiant attempt here. He's got 30 seconds to work. Phil's got to start getting up. Start making. He's moving the wrong way. Yeah. That's All a right. good attempt, though. That very was nice. That was very nice. That was very Xavier. very savvy to try to try and yep. do that. Yep. Even if it just creates some space to create an escape. And I gotta say, I'm impressed with Xavier's submission attempts. He's still today. going. He's okay. still trying. He's got to be careful for that. Never out of the fight. Always no. going for it. Going for Kids it. Kids a bulldog. This is a much more technical fight than I had. I just played a great round for round two. Oh, I knew it was going to be a technical Good brawl. Technical round. Wherever it went. So. We could be looking at 2-0 going into the third. I expect Xavier to start doing Xavier things and last, start doing the let's, let's scrap. The, la thing. the last time we saw Xavier Cardona down two rounds in a fight was out against Mike Antidormi, and that third round was as crazy what of a round crazy. as it gets. Crazy. Phil's got to be careful to get some of the ground. Like I said, he's putting himself in, in, in bad positions that he could get caught right. with silly submissions. He's putting his arms in. He might get caught with triangles. If it were a, maybe a more, not polished, but somebody that's a polished finisher as far as submissions and go. And that toe hold, that different been grip, he might have had that. He almost had it. It looked like almost Phil almost got close, close to tapping there for a yep. second. Yep. Just adjusted the grip too much, changed it around, and lost the submission. He's 
fun to watch. I like watching both these guys. Third and final round between Phil Bambino Locino and Xavier X Cardona. Uh, they right, hug it out. In the middle. Good work. Right back to work, boys. Both absolute gentlemen and kick scholars. To start the round. Right back down. Don't fix what's not broken. Got to watch out for that guillotine. He's going for it already. Good work from the Bambino. Yeah, and this is kind of how Danny Jefferson beat Bambino the last fight out. Yep. He's kind of taken that style and turned it into his and own. And applied it to him. See, look at that. Xavier going for that neck. Now, now the reason why this is hard to do is because he's cross-body. He's across yep. his body diagonally. If, if you were on the opposite side, he would be able to crunch that little head better, in a better, little bit better. Yeah, better action. Then. And the cage is definitely preventing him from being able to do that as well. So Phil's in a good spot here. He's just got to be good. There it Popped is. Pop out. Good pop out. That's Rubber gotta, guard He's got to posture half. up. Start raining down some punches. Little Win the round. Punches. Win the round. Or little finish him. Punch. So Xavier needs to start working for a sweep and get up. He's got to get out of there. Uh 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 A uh, little looking for that arm triangle. He's had, he's, he's had the underhook and options to kind of get to a hip and try to make space and escape, but he uses them yeah. to try to create some mission yeah. chains. And Phil's also doing a good job of when he is getting the underhook to sit back on his heels a little bit more so to kind of make sure that he doesn't get lifted over his head. See, and with Xavier holding that there, oh, that nice pass in the mount there. Minute 30 in the third. He's got nothing but time. If he just postures up here, maybe climbs up a little bit, you know, he should be using this to climb his hips up to the chest instead of at the hips. Right, right. So that way that Xavier can't buck him off uh, 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 like he's trying to do right now. Great so hits from Bambino. Exactly. And right back, a good recovery from Phil. That was a good explosion up from, from Xavier. And see what I mean? He was on his hips, and that's why he was able to buck him off like that and create a scramble. If you get there, you climb, get your knees get under their high. elbows yeah. or under their armpits and sit on their chest, yeah. and that would have that would have prevented It's very that. hard to escape that. It is. High mount is tough. Uh, he's Xavier still going for triangles, so he's got, the, he's got that mission control position, going for that Eddie Bravo uh, rubber guard. Doing a good job, Phil, on top. Really with good the, with, fight, with yeah. the good With the good... Uh, Ground and pound here from guard position. That's right. Phil, punch him in the head. Phil's controlling the game. Great right here. advice from the crowd today. What was and that one? Really, it was punch him in the head. Really? That was it. That was it. They were instructing Fantastic. Phil to punch him in the head. Mm -hmm. Which I didn't know. If you, if you didn't know as an audience member, we didn't know that we were supposed to do that. Uh, does that fall in line with hit him? Is that hit him? Yeah. Hit him is a good one too. Look at this. An arm bar attempt. Late. Late. Late, Late arm bar He's attempt. over the body. It might not be yeah. there. He could finish from here, though, if he gets the angle right. Short time. Give him the good the triangle. Wow. It's over, baby. That, that was good. Going for it to longer. the very end. What did I say? Going for it to the very end I is Xavier Cardona. That triangle was in there. All, in all likelihood, Phil Lucino probably pitched a shutout here. Yeah, yeah. But 100%. no discount in the heart but that the, Xavier Cardona possesses. You never know because there was a lot of submission attempts. You know what I mean? You, like, it depends on what the judges value more. I personally would believe Phil is up 3-0. He pitched a shutout. He did a great day. But Xavier showed a lot of different skills in this. He, like, I only thought he was going to swing he his He did possible. very well. He chained submissions together. He's looking for toe holds. He's looking for sweeps. He looked very, very good. Yeah. A lot of improvement since his He's last He's fun to watch. He's he fun is. to watch. He's always uh, active. Yep. Even on his back. He looked very good. Yep. I, I, I commend him for that. It was a great, yep. great performance from him as well. He always brings in, brings his, uh, bring the fight. You Different know I mean? kind of game today. Yeah. You know what I mean? He changed yeah. his style of, and that's, you know what? I love to see that. When men, when, when, when people lose or have experience loss, and they come back and they change something. I love it. They change something. You love know what I mean? Of course. And he's happy. He's, he's in you know, there. He's having a good time. You know, for him, it's not about. He doesn't expect to get yeah. you, know, you know to the to the pinnacle. Go ahead. But he does love the Andy. challenge. So. Go ahead, Andy, with the result. Ladies and gentlemen,
keep the noise going for these two. After three hard-fought rounds, we go to the Georgia judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27, giving you your winner by unanimous decision, Phil Bambino Lucino!